Residential Site Valuation and Cost Approach, page 2. Site and value as the discussion of site valuation begins, let's review some definitions and concepts. A site is a parcel of land with advancements that make it ready for a building or structure. These enhancements include on-site improvements, such as utility connections and off-site improvements, such as road access. The appraiser is interested in the value of the site apart from any buildings or structures on it. The appraiser must consider many different aspects of site value. There are seven characteristics of real estate, four value characteristics and three physical characteristics. All of these are important for property value. There are also public and private restrictions on land which can affect its value. Finally, there are value principles at work in the marketplace which impact the final market value of real estate. The rest of this chapter will focus on these topics as a prelude to a discussion on calculating site values. 7 Characteristics of Real Estate After reviewing the 7 characteristics of real estate, note that the 4 value characteristics apply to all products and services not just land. These must be present in any item for that item to have value. On the other hand, the three physical characteristics are unique to real estate. These physical characteristics are what make land inherently valuable. Let's go through the seven characteristics. Value characteristics value is the amount of goods or services offered in the marketplace in exchange for something else. Before anything can have value. The user and other potential users of the property must perceive certain value characteristics that must be present. All four of these characteristics must be present and in harmony for the item to achieve maximum value. The four value characteristics are demand, utility, scarcity, and transferability, remember. D-U-S-T STYD demand demand is the need or desire for a specific good or service by offers. Demand is an essential ingredient in creating value. Without demand, any amount of supply is meaningless. How many times have you bought something you didn't need or intend to buy at the grocery store, just because it was on sale? Real estate markets can function similarly. Example for example. If a buyer purchases real estate at a low price anticipating that they could hold the property until the market revives and prices go up, this is called speculation. The speculator is concerned that even when holding and maintenance costs of the property are considered, they can still make a profit due to acquiring the property at such a low price. Another common example of speculation might simply be the buyer who was not particularly in the market for a property at the present time but found real estate prices to be too good to pass up. Bocam R. Acre at Gen Olu OFIT. Extra notes an acre at the bottom of the sea does it have utility.